Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw hyperbola by directrix focus method or it is also called as focus directrix method. So remember for hyperbola, a centricity is always greater than 1. So let us take a problem statement. Construct a hyperbola when distance of the focus from directrix is 65 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2. So here as eccentricity is 3 by 2 which is greater than 1 we have to draw hyperbola. So same time in problem statement this hyperbola word is not mentioned but eccentricity is given. So if eccentricity is greater than 1 then it is a hyperbola and here the distance of focus from directrix is given means we can draw this hyperbola by directrix focus method. Let us draw this hyperbola by directrix focus method step by step. So first we have to draw a vertical line AB which is directrix. Then we have to locate point C approximately at midpoint of this AB. Then from this point C we have to draw a horizontal axis perpendicular to directrix AB. Then in problem statement it is given that focus from directrix is 65 mm. So we have to locate the focus F at 65 mm from C. So we can measure 65 mm and we can mark point F that is focus. Now we have to divide this CF into number of parts. And how to decide number of divisions? So it is based on eccentricity. So number of division is equal to numerator plus denominator of the eccentricity value. So here eccentricity is 3 by 2. So number of division is equal to 3 plus 2 that is 5. So we have to divide this CF into 5 equal parts. So here this CF is equal to 65 mm. So we can easily divide into 5 parts 13 mm each. So at 13 mm each we can divide CF into 5 parts like this. Then we have to locate the vertex on this axis. Now vertex it is the point on the curve. And what is eccentricity? Eccentricity it is the ratio of point on curve from the focus divided by distance of same point from the directrix. So here V it is the point on the curve. So distance of that point V from the focus divided by distance of that point from the directrix that is from point C it is 3 by 2. So here we have to locate vertex such that it will maintain the eccentricity 3 by 2. So here Vf upon Vc should be equal to 3 by 2. So we can locate vertex at second division from C and at third division from F. So here we will get vertex V so that this Vf upon Vc will be equal to 3 by 2. Now from V draw a vertical line perpendicular to this axis and locate point E such that Vf is equal to Ve. So here we have to locate point E such that Vf is equal to Ve and Ve it is perpendicular to Vf. Now draw a line passing from these points C and E like this. So this CE line will be useful to get number of points on the hyperbola curve by maintaining the eccentricity is equal to 3 by 2 means slope of this line CE is equal to 3 by 2. Now mark few points on right side of this vertex need not to be at equidistance but if you take at equidistance then you will get equispaced points. So here I have marked point 1 2 3 and from these points draw vertical lines like this and this line will intersect line passing from CE so intersection points will be 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and so on. Now by using compass take distance is equal to 1 1 dash take focus as a center and draw arc on line 1 1 dash on both side of axis like this and give name P1 and P1 dash. Similarly, in compass, take distance is equal to 2, 2 dash, take focus as a center and draw arc on 2, 2 dash on both sides of this 
axis like this and mark this point as p2 and p2 dash then take distance is equal to 3 3 dash take focus as a center and draw arcs on line 3 3 dash on both side of axis that is above and below the axis and mark the point p3 and p3 dash so in this way we will get number of points and if you join this passing from this point vertex then we will get hyperbolic curve now we can join these points by free hand or we can use the fringe curve so we have to match arc of this fringe curve with these points so rotate fringe curve and match the maximum number of points with the arc of the fringe curve and draw the smooth curve like this so in this way we can draw hyperbolic curve by directrix focus method now we can give the dimension so here distance of focus from the directrix is 65 so we can give that dimension so you can go to the description of this video here i have given link of other videos related to engineering course and other topics from the engineering graphics subject thank you